What's up you guys? Oh, we did it. We survived another long and boring winter and it was especially long and especially boring this year with everything that's going on. But it's in the past. We are here. It is spring and the spring collections have dropped. I'm super excited to start putting away my winter coats and bringing out all my new pieces. Uh, I shopped on ASOS this month and I saw a lot of really cool things that I like. So we got some cool color pops, we got pastels, prints, all that good stuff. So I can't wait to go through it with you. But also in this video, I'm going to specifically be breaking down my eight favorite trends for spring, summer 2021. So there are a lot of really cool trends that I'm obsessed about and I want to share my favorites with you guys. So a lot of the pieces that I cop actually kind of correlate with those trends. So as we go through the video, I'll break them down and let you know what you need to know about each one so that you can rock them this summer. Uh, as always, I styled these looks out according to my style, my aesthetic. So if anything that I'm wearing maybe feels a little bit too edgy or just off for you, switch it up. If you don't like the shorts or the pants that I'm wearing, bring in some pants, your jeans, your favorite jeans, whatever, bring in your own. If you don't like maybe the color that I'm wearing, think about your favorite colors and wear that instead. This is not about doing it my way, it's about doing it your way. So do what works for you. Before we get started, as always, I want to remind you guys, if you like this channel, remember to comment, like, subscribe, and just, I want to take a second to thank you guys for even watching. I appreciate it. I'm excited to keep on bringing you guys videos and let me know what you guys want to see in future videos as we move into the seasons ahead. So with that said, I'm super excited. <laughs> Let's get to it. Like I said, I'm ready to put my coats up and get into spring mode. So let's shed these layers and give the darker tones a break. We're gonna start with a major dose of color, so shield your eyes, cause it's gonna get very bright. My first pick, this hot pink blazer from ASOS. When I was looking over the runway coverage for spring summer 2021, one trend that popped out to me was acid hues. So these are colors that aren't quite neon, but they pop a bit harder. So it's kind of like turning up the saturation filter on Instagram, but like all the way up. <laughs> In addition to the blazer, I found these matching sweats from Nike and I made a chill suit of sorts, very much on the athleisure side. Now, of course, I know colors this bold can feel like a major style risk, so if you're not sure about a head to toe moment, that's totally fine. Break it up and choose just one piece. I'm gonna stick with the blazer here and lay it against this all white foundation. If you followed me for a while here or on Instagram, you know that I love spring whites, summer whites, winter whites, all white everything. So I really like this. And just to give you another taste of some of the colors here, let's try out turquoise. This sweater and these shorts are both ASOS brand, and as you can see, this trend is really just about fun, bright, strong tones of your favorite colors. Styling-wise, just do things your way. Check out these metallic shorts, these are so sick. I think these colors are super fun and just what we need to break that funk of winter and liven things up. Oversized pieces have been catching my attention a lot lately, and they happen to be another trend that we should be on the lookout for this season. This suit's not only comfortable and loose, but it also checks that acid hue box that we just talked about, so it's a double win for me. I kept things chill and got ready for the warm weather by going shirtless underneath. It's a fun style flex that requires a little bit of confidence, but it's really smooth if you're bold enough to do it. Also, the trousers are really nice on their own. You can throw them on with a tucked in white tee or a mock neck and have a solid but simple look. And if you're not ready to go shirtless just yet, that's fine. Here, try a ribbed or elevated white tank, so not a Hanes white beater. <laughs> Honestly, it's just as nice of a look and it doesn't look like you're trying as hard. And if even that's not your style, go for a tee or <laughs> just get a different suit. <laughs> Remember, it's about what makes you comfortable. And by the way, they also have this suit in electric blue. Next, I got this oversized sweatpants set. What caught my attention was the particular shade of green. It's sort of a no-brainer, but pastels are another key trend this season, like every other spring. And mint is one of my favorite colors to wear right now. But I can't lie, I honestly expected to hate this. However, once I put it on, I was like, oh wait, this is dope. <laughs> I have a suit from Boohoo that matches perfectly, so I could throw the blazer on top to have a completely different suit that gives a completely different feel than the other one. One is a little bit more tailored, this one is super chill, and even feels high fashion with a super wide leg. I also copped these slides from the site. They're a little Yeezy inspired, but again, the color is great and they work really well with this set. Now, like the first few pieces I showed you, you have options. I know a lot of guys probably won't gravitate toward that style of pants, but you can break things up. You can wear the shirt on its own under other pieces and if you only wear those pants at home, trust me, you'll be so comfortable. But you can also buy these separately, so it's totally up to you. Get what you want, if you want them. 
I have a big thing for sweater vests, you guys. Not worn like Mr. Rogers over button downs, but on their own. Even though I'm not the most muscular of guys, I really like my frame and how my arms look in vests. I saw this one and I thought it was amazing. The Argyle print is really dope and it plays on a few distinct colors, so I can probably make it work with a bunch of different pants and outerwear. I clashed the patterns here a bit and remember the trick. You want to always make sure that the patterns are different sizes. Now even though it's a sweater, it's sleeveless so I can wear this well into the warmer months and layer it up when things cool back down in the fall. Definitely a new favorite of mine. Down below I copped a new pair of Converse's. They've really become one of my favorite sneaker styles and I like how this pair has the patches and brings in some extra colors and tones to work really nicely with whatever I'm wearing up top. The details are great. Another trend for the season is Bermuda shorts. So to translate, these are basically longer, wider leg shorts. They typically don't flare out too much, but they go straight down for a really cool boyish aesthetic. I got my first pair of Bermuda shorts at a Philip Lim sample sale back in like 2015, and they've been my favorite shorts ever since. I used to be really self-conscious about my legs because they're on the thinner side, but these ones hide those slim quads perfectly. <laughs> I tried this brown style out with a few different tops and color palettes. I love that the plaid print is small because from afar they almost look solid, but up close you get some extra style points. And the color means they'll work really nicely with earthy greens and other neutrals. This cardigan's another favorite piece of mine. I recently started wearing it shirtless too. Wait, am I a thought for all these shirtless outfits? <laughs> you know what, don't answer that. The creamy tone balances perfectly with the chucks down below. Bermudas are definitely a style that I'd recommend adding to your collection. Alright, so Vogue talked about this trend called neoprene, which is basically doubling up your prints for maximal effect. So you're mixing and matching more graphic prints, as opposed to like simpler checks and stripes, and that can be tricky, so I made sure that my tones here were on the darker side and in a similar color family. And looking through my closet, I realized that I don't really have that many fun prints in my wardrobe, and this tiger stripe really jumped out at me. And then these workout shorts were another really cool print. They're almost like a pop art melted metal. I think they're definitely worth rocking outside of just the gym. Now despite how bold I can come across in some of these videos, I actually tend to play it pretty safe when it comes to pattern mixing. So I broke things apart and also styled the shirt out with some more subtle pieces. Like earlier, I kept the color family of the shirt in mind and I went for an all black foundation to keep things cohesive. It's really nice even if it's just a smaller pop underneath your layers. The next trend on our menu is a spring favorite, florals. I saw this sweater and really liked the pop of neon in the daisies. And on top of that, I like that the gray foundation pulls it back from feeling like it's too big and too bright. Spring is a great time for sweater weather and ASOS always has really fun patterns to just liven up your look, so I appreciate this one. I played on the petals and added white accessories up top and down below to bring everything together. I mean, <laughs> doesn't it just make you feel like brighter days are ahead? I got this next set from Collusion and it's relaxed, pretty comfortable and easy to wear. I love neutrals so I appreciate this look here, although I won't lie the fabric could be a little bit nicer. Sort of reminds me of a towel. But the rib detailing across both the top and bottom makes it look really good. Plus I love a good match set. One of the more interesting trends and the one I saw the most across the season recaps is minimalism. So check out these photos to see what I mean. Basically, pulling things back, stripping things down, and keeping our looks easy and simple. I mean, the past year has been a lot, and part of me likes the idea of just getting back to the basics and not doing too much to look good. Prada is probably one of the best shows to look at to understand it more, but basically we're losing all the frills and celebrating the essentials. Okay, one more. I got this bomber jacket from ASOS Actual, and I thought it was just a really cool layering piece as we head into the spring. It's lightweight, made of a satin-like fabric that's pretty decent for the price, and the white details pop in a really striking way. Here's a closer look. It doesn't have inner pockets, which you know I hate, but it's a cool jacket. Bomber jackets are the eighth and final trend I'm spotlighting in this video, and I'm really happy about that. I miss bomber jackets, and I guess I didn't realize how long it had been since I got a new one until I started working on this video. Balancing out the whites here helped this darker look feel a little bit less heavy and more ripe for the spring. I usually don't wear much black in these seasons, but thanks to this look, I may change that. 
All right, you guys, those are the pieces that I caught from ASOS this month, as well as a look at the eight trends that I'm super excited about rocking this spring, summer 2021 season. Now, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, as always, leave them in the comment section below. And also check out the description box for all the product info that I can possibly add about all these items. There's a lot, but I'm going to try and squeeze it all in. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Later.